Hello my friends, welcome to Anas Wireless. Today we're going to talk to you about this wonderful Adenium Abessum or Desert Rose plant. We're going to talk about care tips and also we are going to repot it into this pot. I'm Anna and on this channel we're talking about plants and gardening so if you're into plants if you like to grow plants consider subscribing click on the bell button like button and we're talking about plants every single week so today we're going to talk about Adenium abessum care tips as for the soil watering light uh, propagation very important aspect of this plant is the codex so I'm going to talk to you about that as well and we're going to repot this plant which is actually in a tiny pot into this one before we start as it's a very tiny plant I'm going to move the camera so that you see only this part of the table not me anymore and we're going to start okay so I move the camera and now you see the soil you see the clay pot and you see this tiny plant here that I'm going to repot from this tiny pot into this one which is a little bit bigger right okay but before we start I want to talk to you about this very interesting plant which is Adenium abessum and it's also known as a desert rose plant the most important thing for this plant is sunlight well they need to be exposed to direct sunlight for at least six hours per day please when it's still small make sure that you kind of observe the plant and see if maybe if the sun is too much because you know it makes a lot of difference when you bring the plant from the greenhouse or garden center in your place and then you place it directly under the direct burning sun so maybe you will need to kind of uh, give it time to get adjust get, to get adjusted to your environment and then get used to the sunny environment in your place just step by step all right the next thing about this plant is that during the spring and summer season where it will be growing quite fast you will need to keep the soil always moist but not wet well now it's just slightly moist maybe it's already the time to water it it's a little bit on the drier side however it's better to be on the drier side a little bit and not to be overwatered because if you overwater your plant it may get rotten very easily but also especially when your plant is not well established yet it's a seedling or maybe it's just a small plant uh, with not so well established roots try not to make the soil um, get dry between the waterings so bone dry soil will also harm the roots you can also fertilize these plants but use maybe half of the strength of uh, normal fertilizers for most of your plants that the ones that you use for most of your plants but just reduce it and uh, maybe you will you can use it with watering maybe just once a, once a month or twice a month but use a little bit um, yeah not so strong one so maybe you will like to use a little bit um, weaker fertilizer for this plant and then of course at the end of the autumn in the in the winter when the plant will be kind of a little bit dormant so don't fertilize it at all and reduce the water into a minimum of course these plants are drought to tolerant they can tolerate when the soil is dry however if it's too dry and especially when the plant is small then this can be actually harmful harmful for the plant so make sure that it's when it's small especially when it's at, uh, just growing roots make sure that the soil is always a little bit moist however later when the roots are well established the plant can be can tolerate actually uh, dry soil for a couple of days and of course it flowers very beautifully so many shapes and different colors pink I don't know white um, pink white red orange so many different colors and of course you can grow these plants outside uh, outdoors depending on your climate of course but in winter in any case you will need to bring it home because to bring it indoors because it will not be able to overcome winters outside or when you bring it outside in the spring uh, so make sure to trim a little bit when it will be grown and bushy so you will maybe want to cut off all the dry leaves dry stems or overgrown parts of your plant that you will not like maybe to give it a nice shape and also if you remove uh, very green and young cuttings uh, stems actually you can use these cuttings for propagation but again bear in mind that from the cuttings most probably the codex will be built under the surface of the soil and later you will need to repot your plant to expose the codex and show this nice 
uh, trunk. Actually, I think they are so unique just because of this trunk. Because if, of course, the leaves are also very uh, beautiful. They are dark green, shiny leaves, very healthy looking. Well, here you see, I think this is just because of overwatering, or it can even be uh, because of underwatering. But this is not a disease, and I think I may even lose this leaf later when the plant is growing. However, I think. Uh, everything should be fine with this um, plant. And also, the thing is that it's also in a very tiny pot, so maybe this is also because of that. As for the soil, use the soil for cactuses or succulents. For example, here I have cactus soil, but I'm going to also mix a little bit of this lechuza, uh, different types of scents here, and this yellow, you can see this is uh, even a fertilizer. I think mixing this both will be even so much, so much beneficial for this plant because the quality of the soil will improve in terms of drainage, in terms of air ventilation in the soil, so I think this will be really good. As for the pots, use clay pots, of course with a drainage hole. And why clay pots? Because they will be breathing for all the, from all the sides and the air ventilation will be very good for the roots and you will not have the risk of your plant uh, getting rotten. So the roots will feel here really comfortable and really good, especially with this soil, this clay pot and the drainage hole, this should be quite good for this plant. To use maybe smaller pots or it's better actually to use even wider and uh, flatter pots compared to the ones which will be for example higher because in the flatter pots the roots will spread and this will give more stability for the plant and if you put it in a very tall plant then uh, the roots will grow um, very thin I would say and it will be not so good for the stability. However, in the taller pot, most probably the codex, the codex will be built even, will be grown into a very nice shapes, shapes because it will have more space there. So it's up to you to decide. But in this, um, in this period, I'm going to plant this in this pot. And later we will see if I will repot it, maybe the next year. By the way, as for the repotting, you can repot your plant maybe every one, two years or maybe two, three years. So it depends really on your pot and uh, how it grows, how the plant is growing. All right, so and now let's start to repot this. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this into this soil. And again, I will not be using any fertilizer for now because there is already fertilizer in this soil. So I'm going to put a little bit of soil at the bottom. All right, let's measure. Let's first of all take the plant out of this pot. I'm just squeezing the plastic pot. You see the roots? Let's remove this top layer of this soil. You see that these white are perlite. You can also add perlite if you want to. So I don't want to disturb the roots a lot. I think this is already enough. And now let's measure. I think this is the perfect height. And now I'm going to add more soil from all the sides. I think this looks pretty good now. And now let's water. So I'm going to water from all sides, not too much. Now after repotting, I will place this uh, plant for maybe just a week in a very bright area, but without direct sunlight. And when I see that the plant is already adjusted to the new pot, the new soil, everything is fine, then step by step, I can move it to uh, more direct sunlight. Hope this was useful for you. If you learned anything, if it was uh, interesting for you, consider subscribing, click on the bell button, like button, share the video with your friends, write about your experiences, your uh, questions in the comments and I will be really happy to answer them. Stay patient about plants and I see you next time.